Park. We all know that Tabitha Templeton used a bottle of soda and some mints <laughs> to save the lives of countless parents. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Ah. But do you know how she did it? With science. Pay attention because we're gonna show you how to master Tabitha's scientific success. The scientific secrets we're about to show you can get a little messy, <laughs> so it might be better to do it outside in a yard or a park, okay? Let's get started. Take it away, team. You will need a two liter bottle of dark colored soda like root beer or cola, one mint, preferably one that's a little chalky, a flat bottom container or tub, goggles or safety glasses, a parent or trusted adult. First, put the container on a flat surface and place the bottle of soda into it. Then, put on your safety goggles. This next part happens very quickly, and when doing science, it's important to be safe. Now grab the mint in one hand. Yes, all this science happens with just one mint. And open the soda with your other hand. Count down from three, and on one, drop the mint into the bottle. Then quickly step back and look at it go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Pretty wild, huh? Here's the science behind the mess. Soda has carbon dioxide in it, which is what gives it those bubbles. The mint has baking soda in it, which produces a lot more carbon dioxide bubbles when it mixes with the soda. As the mint sinks into the bottle, those bubbles start to rise and mix with the soda's carbon dioxide. This causes way more carbon dioxide creation and way more rising bubbles. Since this all happens so fast, the bubbles have nowhere to go but up, causing the eruption. Oh, no, 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 Lesson complete. Next time you need to shut down the server of a baby gone rogue, you'll have the science to know how. 